This is a video update of our garden. We redid our garden in October of 2021, and this is now October 2022. This is our front porch. Clearly I need to do some work with resetting a lot of these plants as they are getting big and run amucky, as Laura Eubanks would say. This is our front installation that we did. This post hole cactus is getting a lot bigger, the San Pedro. These aloe beans eyes are doing much better. This is the one that we had to cut the head off of because it decided to have a rotting situation. And from it, we've had several heads grow. So it is definitely on the mend. Our Euphorbia lambii has gotten very large. The base is larger and all of the pomp at the top is huge. This alobanzii has also gotten much bigger. It definitely brings to mind the word Medusa. And there is our brand new alomarlothii that we just installed today. From here, this is our inside patio. We step down to the outer patio and you'll be able to see, we planted a few more things since Laura came to visit us. We have a variegated um, plant there. I can't remember the name, I'm sorry and pineapple, mangave, perii, kishokan, another aloe, brevifolia, I believe, another mangave, quadracolor, sticks on fire. This is a ghost aloe. It had some issues when we first got it, but it's grown out of those issues. This is a Horda, our barrel cactus. That's a white spine barrel. Uh, King Ferdinand agave. We have a little cactus there. Going up the side, we have another Kishokan. We have right there a variegated uh, agave, blue glow, I believe. I need to pull that weed, I know. It grows back every three days. But this kind of gives you an idea of how things are growing. That is our Aloe Hercules. We got him in Santa Barbara and he's doing magnificent. He hasn't taken on any additional height, but he has gotten a tremendous amount healthier, which was important when Laura came to visit us, he was red. He is now completely green and the top that had a little bit of issue no longer has that. Since Laura came, we planted a snow leopard, mangave. There's our other ghost aloe accompaniment. This is an unusual aloe. I don't know what it is. We got it at Sprouts and it was like a like two or $3 plant when it was very small and it's grown. It could be part of the aloe myelorthii or maybe something else. This is um, an aloe, I'm sorry, uh, Agave Ferdinand, King Ferdinand, a baby. 
swordfish aloe. There's my dogs going crazy. Sorry for that interruption. Another Kisho Khan. Uh, Queen Victoria. I also forgot to tell you, I have another Queen Victoria right here as well. This one was originally in the lower section down below, um, but we decided to put the Kisho Khan there instead as we were having children trying to step on it and we didn't want that to happen. We also planted this little baby cactus and it does have a bloom, so pretty. This is the first bloom it's had since we put it in the ground. Okay, back to what I was saying. We have another mangave here. Could be a blood spot. I bought several, so I can't quite remember these ones. Another blue glow. This is a rum runner and the baby cut up in size. This is kaleidoscope and it's gotten much bigger. We planted these when my husband decided to be a great idea his first day off and it was 108. And needless to say, they were very unhappy at first. This is my Dracaena Draco. Um, has not grown much since I got her a year ago, but she has a lot more green foliage that has come about, which is magnificent. Everything is looking great. Uh, let's see here. I've got my quadricolors uh, agaves. I have a bunch of them. And then, of course, the elephant in the room is this uh, huge mangave jaguar he is so much bigger than everything else kind of not sure how to approach him if i should keep him here my neighbors say he's a magnificent statement piece to you know the rest of the yard and that i should keep him but i think my neighbor's irrigation is uh getting him a bit wetter than the rest of the plants he's also gotten so big that he's now covering the quadra so obviously we're going to have to make some hard choices there and then stepping into the installation we have a peri eye um coral aloe this is my aloe picatillus fan aloe and she is doing magnificent i forgot to show you up top um i actually had the other fan aloe on the other side of the installation where i put the really big uh, Kisho Khan, but she was struggling and so we made the decision to pull her out and put her in the top installation with there's more shade. This is our golden barrel. He was installed after the other barrel was installed so he has not grown as big. Um, has some bunny ears, a puntia. Um, I'm sorry the name escapes me but the Old man, cactus, blue, tall. I'm losing my mind this morning, sorry. <laughs> oh, and then roadkill cactus, that's what the name was. This roadkill has gotten a lot bigger than it was before. I actually installed it shortly after um, I had Laura come as well. My other roadkill that I had on the other side originally died and I did plant one here and I also planted one on the other side. That's what I meant to say the name was. And then I also have a variegated Queen Victoria. She's doing magnificent. She likes being in the shade. Um, all in all, everything's doing great. This is a, a variegated roadkill cactus as well. That's the name. It's starting to turn a little red <coughs> from the seasonal change. It's starting to drop down into the mid 50s now, which is a little bit uh, cooler but it's getting to be October, as you can tell. Um, but yeah, so that's my garden on the outside. Looks pretty awesome, and we're very, very happy with it. And we will have to show you a video at night as well because the lighting is spectacular.